we want to graph y equals 3x minus 2 using slope-intercept form of a line, which is the form y equals mx plus b, where b is the y-intercept of the line and m is the slope of the line. We need to be a little careful about identifying the value of b in our equation. Notice in slope-intercept form we have plus b, but our equation is minus 2, which means that in this case b is going to be equal to negative 2. We could write minus 2 as plus negative 2 to fit this form perfectly, but normally we just recognize that if it's minus 2, then b would be negative 2, which tells us that the y-intercept would be the point 0, negative 2. And then m is the slope, which is the coefficient of x. So in this case, m is equal to positive 3. But in order to make use of the slope, it's helpful to have it as a fraction. So instead of writing just 3, we'll write m equals 3 over 1 which of course is still equal to 3. But remember the slope tells us the change in y with respect to the change of x, sometimes expressed as the rise over the run. So with this information we can now graph the line. We'll first plot the y-intercept of negative 2 here. And then from this point we'll use the slope to find additional points on the line. And since the slope is 3 over 1, from the y-intercept we'll go up 3 units and write 1 unit. And of course we can do this again, up 3, write 1. And again, the reason we're going up 3 is because the numerator is positive 3, which is the change in y. And the reason we're moving right 1 is because the denominator is 1, which represents the change in x. So our line, y equals 3x minus 2, passes through these three points and would look something like this. Again, we have our y-intercept here. And then since the slope was 3, or 3 over 1, we went up 3 and right 1. Okay, we'll take a look at another example in the next video.